update for you. This is in regarding the Tropical Storm Isaac reaching the Florida Keys and on a direct path to New Orleans. Um, and I went on to put a, put down here, it says developments of Tropical Storm Isaac is that the developments of Tropical Storm Isaac is that it is bound for the west coast of Florida on its way to New Orleans, or Louisiana for that matter. This is a massive storm which undoubtedly will strengthen to a hur to hurricane status as it enters the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the key thing here, which um, I'm going to play a video from Mr. Comet Watch. All credit goes to him for this um, at the end of my talking about this, is that the water temperatures are 9 degrees warmer than at the time Katrina slammed into New Orleans. Okay. Now, although the storm will most likely not strengthen into a Category 4 storm like Katrina did, is irrelevant mainly because of the size of Isaac. Uh, the sheer size of the storm is what could make this an a, a extremely devastating event and you're gonna see how huge this storm is. I mean it's enormous. I would strongly encourage those living in the warning areas to seek shelter away from the warning areas because this could end up shaping into a massive event even as a category one storm. Now another thing to consider is all the dispersants and chemicals that have been sprayed over the Gulf of Mexico and also I think there's a Cynthia virus present there as well wasn't a factor when Katrina hit there was no oil spill down there at that time plus how fitting they use a biblical name for a hurricane you know, Hurricane Isaac or Tropical Storm Isaac you know the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob I think that's quite fitting there um, you can see here and it's moving slowly to the uh, through the Gulf. You can see it picking up strength. You can see it picking up. Uh, um, I mean, it's just getting huge. And it's, it's a very huge storm. Okay, and then this is the path of it as of now. And uh, Louisiana is basically right in line with that path, along with a. Uh, Georgia and Alabama and here you can see another satellite picture of it but uh, I'm not really the weather expert guys I just know that this is uh, shaping up to be a pretty big storm and I want you guys to stay safe out there God bless and we'll see you next time bye bye August 26 2012 these are next rad images tropical storm Isaac it will not be a tropical storm much longer as it reaches into the Gulf. Notice the uh, tall clouds there start to expand rapidly. You've got the heating of the day and you've got the warmer Gulf waters. You also see that you're coming into uh, tornado watches. South Florida guys, they've moved the track of the storm now from coming up into the uh, Pensacola Mobile area coming into Mississippi as far as the center of the cone. What that does is put Lake Pontchartrain and New Orleans in, at high risk. We'll switch this to infrared and take a look at it. Now, the uh, National weather, weather Service is saying the hurricane watch for the Florida East Coast from Golden Beach southward to Ocean Reef is discontinued. The hurricane watch is extended westward along the Louisiana coast to just east of Morgan City, Louisiana, including metropolitan New Orleans and Lake Pontchartrain, guys. We've been talking about this. The government of Cuba has just continued their tropical storm warnings. It's moved north of them. It says the uh, hurricane warning is in effect for the Florida Keys, including the Dry Tortegas, the west coast of Florida, from Bonita Beach south to Ocean Reef. A hurricane watch is in effect for east of Morgan City, Louisiana, to Indian Pass, Florida, including metropolitan New Orleans again, guys. It says the... Uh, Hurricane warning means the hurricane conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area, in this case, within the next 24 hours. Preparations to protect life and property should be rushed to completion. Notice the bay there. That's Lake Pontchartrain, guys. Again, I understand that area. We work there. Do not be trapped there. I know transportation is a, is a different world in New Orleans. A lot of buses, a lot of people use that, don't have as many cars as some places, especially in the downtown areas. 
But if you've got to walk across that bridge to Slidell, it may be a good time to do it. it. I would do that before I would be trapped in that hell hole again, sitting on my roof waiting for a FEMA helicopter, guys. The uh, Coast Guard, those guys, National Guard, they will be there. Don't put yourself in that position. And we'll pull the storm up. Take a look at this thing. It is not playing. The Gulf waters are nine degrees warmer than they were when Katrina came in seven years ago. Now, they've changed the path. Look at this. That center now goes up into Mississippi, right into Louisiana. Yesterday, that track was going up into Alabama, Pensacola area. So tomorrow, again, if this westward trend continues on the storm surge, it's going to put the quadrant that is the most dangerous, again, throwing all of this heated water into Lake Pontchartrain. If you notice here, seven feet above the average already predicted, that's New Orleans it's in the blue there, guys, all the way back to Gulfport. You see that? Biloxi, Pascagoula, Moss Point, even portions of Mobile Bay there. So again, do not be trapped in this situation. Pull this up. Take a look at it. <clears throat> Notice it's not showing the rise in Lake Pontchartrain, but Lake Bourne and the canal that goes in just south of 10, coming out of Slidell. Notice the light blue colors there. That's where your levees fall, can fail. Again, be safe. Heads up.